Welcome back at 712. Next month is Mental Health Awareness Month. Suicide prevention among veterans remains a public health priority, but the fact is suicide is preventable and veterans do not need to suffer. If you're a veteran in crisis, the VA wants you to know they're here to help at no cost. And there are so many other options that we want to let you know about this morning as well. Dr. Jay Baffa, a suicide prevention coordinator at the VA Southeast Louisiana Medical Center, and Dr. Charlie Santos, an internal medicine and psychologist uh, doctor, uh, also with the VA, you're here with us uh, with, with lots of details on resources. Good morning to you both. Thank you for being here. Uh, Dr. Baffa, let's start off with you. Um, again, there are a lot of suicide prevention resources that you mentioned are, are veteran specific and they cater directly to veterans. Tell us about those, those resources. Yeah, so at the Southeast Louisiana Veterans Healthcare System, we're really committed to making sure that veterans can optimize their quality of life. And so that starts with our mental health programming, which includes outpatient, inpatient, and day programs available where they can get treatment for um, you know, things as common as anxiety, depression, substance use, but also veteran specific issues like uh, combat trauma. And you said that the, the really interesting thing is um, a lot of those resources and services are being provided by veterans. That's right. By veterans for veterans. So they, they understand that there's a different level of understanding there. Yeah, so they have the opportunity to be supported by their other veteran peers um, in the hospital, but a lot of our providers are veterans themselves, which allows them to really just connect with our patients in a special way. Um, and results in really high quality care. And that's at the VA, but Dr. Santos, you were telling me in the commercial break, there is a special, there was an act that was passed a few years ago uh, that kind of casts a wider net as far as help is concerned for veterans in crisis, correct? That's right. The main thing I want to say is if you're a veteran experiencing a mental health crisis, don't wait, reach out. Uh, the VA is here for you. We want you to get care. And thanks to the Compact Act in 2022, Veterans are eligible to receive emergency mental health care not only at a VA facility, but at community health care facilities throughout the country. This includes up to 30 days inpatient or residential care, 90 days outpatient care, includes transportation costs, includes social work costs. Um, and for eligible former service members, the VA will pay for it. All we ask is that within 72 hours, you, your provider, or a loved one, let the VA know that you're getting care somewhere. Uh, and that's a great time to be to ask if you want to take advantage of some of these veteran specific programs and transfer to a, a facility like the Southeast Louisiana Veterans Healthcare Center where we both work. It's a great time to ask. And, and how groundbreaking was this act passing a couple years ago? I mean, you mentioned any nearly any healthcare facility in the country as opposed to only the VA hospital systems. So how how life changing can this be for for veterans knowing that they have um, resources available to them really all over the place? Absolutely life-changing. Unfortunately, suicide remains a leading cause of death among former service members. So the Compact Act is estimated to increase access to up to 9 million Americans wow. across the country. Yeah. And, and I know this is a, a lot of information. Uh, where can people go for more details? Uh, if they want to get more details on how the Compact Act works, if they have a loved one who uh, they know needs these, these resources, how can they get more information from either one of you? <laughs> Um, so the Veterans Crisis Line is always a great way to get um, you know, any access to a provider who can kind of help with facilitating some of that. Um, we also have you know, the, the main VA website has a ton of information about that. Um, you can also go to any of your local congressmen's websites because they're definitely going to champion those things as well. And so the VA hospitals, and we have the number there too. So 988, and that's actually really important to know. It's the crisis hotline for everyone, but is there a specific? Yeah, so press number? 1 and you'll be accessing the Veterans Crisis Line specifically. That's really good to know. So 988 and then press 1 for specific uh, help if you are a veteran. We appreciate you both being here with us this morning. Y'all are providing some awesome services to the men and women who serve this country. So we appreciate you get that, getting that information out to people this morning. Thank, Thank you. you.